Hi guys, it's Nancy and I wanted to show you some creative ways to use this new bug stamp set from Stampin' Up. And I gotta admit, when I first saw this in the spring catalog, I thought, well, that's kind of neat, but I don't know that I would ever use it. Now, I have a 10-year-old little boy, so the second time around when I took a look at it, I thought, wouldn't that be interesting for him? And I know that this stamp set was not... Um, liked by many people but I got to show you a couple of samples that I made of playing around with it and I think you guys might change your mind on it so a couple tips the stamp set is photopolymer um, the item number is 142980 from Stampin' Up I'm not a Stampin' Up rep so you can contact um, your local Stampin' Up rep it's photopolymer it's a layered set so on the front here it does show you how many go with each bug Okay. It does also come with um, like a fly and a ladybug and some extra antennae. So there's some cute bugs on here. If bugs could be cute, I will be the first one to run the other way if a bug is in my presence. But these little bugs are cute. All right, so you can see... My photopolymer set is all funky colors and all drawn up. It does not come this way. But I did it because I wanted to know which ones go with which. So you can see, all I did was I, I took a, a Copic marker and carefully colored over. Now you do not want to just scribble over because the Copic marker will lift the black printing on, on here. So I kind of outlined it and, you know, colored it in. So these three go together which is this guy down here, and then these three go together, and these three go together, and these three, and then this one goes with these two, the blue um, three go together, and then these three go together, and so on. So you get the idea. I also took a marker and kind of circled which sets go together. Um, if you're not comfortable doing this, I would photocopy this and then maybe make a coloring of it and then stick it on the inside of the back sleeve here so that you have a photocopy of which ones go together. Just just an idea there. But I used the stamp set in two ways and I just want I'm not going to make a card today. I'm just going to show you the two ways that I used it, the two ideas. So the first one is just stamping it out. So you think, "Oh, well, what's so great about that?" Well, I don't know if you can see it but there's a little shimmer on there. So when I thought beetles, I automatically thought, you know, beetles are a couple different colors. They're like blue and green and kind of iridescent. So if you can see, some of those are different colors. So what I did, guys, was I went in my stash and I got out my Perfect Pearls. Perfect Pearls are shimmery powders. So what I did, just to give, show you guys real quick, is I stamped out the outer layer first. I know I said I wasn't gonna do any stamping here, but I wanna show you. And then I stamped the colored layer You want to use nice bright colors. I think they show up a lot nicer. This one is Emerald Envy from Stampin' Up. Now these are dye-based inks. This would work better with pigment inks. And you know what, guys? They're pretty easy to line up. There's a little tab at the top there, and that tells you that it goes in the up position. But you can see through the stamps because they're photopolymer. So they're pretty easy to line up. And they don't have to be perfect. It's handmade, so... Now, because these are dye inks, they're going to dry a little quicker. And when it dries, it's not going to be able to accept the perfect pearls. It doesn't have anything to stick to. So what we're going to do is I'm going to clean off the stamp. It's nice and clean. Now I'm going to cheat. I'm going to get my Versamark ink. Now you can use perfect 
what's that called? Perfect something ink. Um, I forget what it's called. But there's a lot of sticky clear inks out there. You could use embossing ink. You can use, um, like I said, I'm going to use Versamark. I think most people use Versamark. But there's a lot of sticky inks out there. And this just happens to be turquoise. So I stamped the beetle in green. Oh, he has little spots too. So if you want details, you can go ahead and put the details in. Let's do that. I'm going to stamp his spots in uh, Pacific Point also stamping up. All right, so back to the main body. So this is pretty solid of a stamp. That's the green part that I'd stamped earlier. I'm going to ink that up in my Versamark ink. And again, because this ink is a dye ink, it's pretty much dry. And you can do one at a time. I'm just going to do all three here. So now there's clear, sticky Versamark ink in here. Now, this is what a lot of people do when they do heat embossing and you want a specific color for heat embossing. Um, you can just stamp over it with the Versamark. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the Perfect Pearls and just dab that over. And what it's going to do is it's going to stick to that clear, sticky ink. And you don't have to set this. Once it's dry, it's going to set itself. But there you can see the green beetle has a little bit of a turquoise shimmer to him. So I, I really like that idea on these bugs. They're so versatile. So then I thought, okay, what else can I do with these bugs? Well, this little guy here, he kind of reminded me of a lightning bug. Or was it this one? It was one of these two. But this one looks like a pumpkin beetle to me. But this one looked like a lightning bug, and this one kind of did. So... Real quick, I stamped out a jar. Now I know Stampin' Up! has jars. I have a jar, a really old jar from Stamps by Judith. Um, I stamped the jar and I embossed it in silver embossing powder. And then I stamped the little bugs in black embossing powder. And then when I did their bodies, I stamped the bodies again with the Versamark but I heat emboss them with neon embossing powder. And the company that I used was Zing. Um, I'm sure that you can find any kind of light embossing powder, but I thought this neon yellow and this neon green, how neat do they look with these little bugs. And then the sentiment, I really wish they had sentiment because I think there's some funny, punny sentiments you could have used. Like I heard you caught a bug or what's bugging you or I'm sorry to bug you, but I'm sure there's some cute puns that you could have thought of to put in there. Um, so I thought, well, what would work great with this little lightning bug? So I also had on my desk this new set, High Tide from Stampin' Up! And here's the sentiment. There's nothing little about the light you shine. And I thought, how cute is that with the little bugs here? So it looks like this little guy's in the jar. And this one's, you know, escaping, flying away. So that's my cute little video, guys, on the bugs. Um, you know, like I said, at first, you're probably like, ew, what am I going to do with bugs? I think they are great for masculine cards. And I really think you can dress these up and make them really pretty. So there are some ideas using perfect pearls and some neon embossing thanks for the thumbs up guys if you have any questions put it down in comments i appreciate everyone subscribing again i just do this for a hobby so if you're interested in any of the stamps please locate your local stampin up rep and keep on stamping thanks guys